It's gonna be a quick video of how to convert an alternator from internally regulated like this one to externally regulated with the kit that we have available on our website. This is for Denso hairpin alternators only. You're gonna have a brush holder in the center and then uh, your regulator screws as well. On our alternators, they're all gonna be T20s. Some of them will have Phillips, depending on what brand you have. You'll pull the brush holder out. You can take uh, a paper clip You'll see a hole here and a hole here. That'll let you take your finger, put that in the hole, slide your pin through the hole, and that'll let you put the brush holder back in without damaging the brushes. Pretty important step there. This will be soldered, on, at least it will be on our alternators. All you really have to do is just heat it up to solder it, and just slide it off. The new regulator outlet will have two, we call them legs, on it. On, if your alternator was already internally regulated, 90% of the time, you're gonna have an aluminum mounting boss here for a ground. That'll, that'll basically internally ground whatever terminal socket you're using. So normally what we do, if we build the alternator from scratch here, externally regulated, we'll drill or cut that boss off in like a mill you can drill it out if you'd like to and then just put this in and you'll end up having to use both pins on your external regulator when you get to it or what most people do is they just cut this leg off you can take a pair of cutters and do that it's not a difficult thing to do or a dremel you just try to cut it as flush with this plastic here as possible and then you put that in you want to see what I'm talking about? Here's one that a customer sent in that had already done it. That'll let you put that in without having to worry about it. There's nothing going to be to solder back onto this. That's not something to worry about anymore. Then you'll put your T20 screws back in or Phillips screws, whichever brand it is. And again, make sure your brush holder is held in place with this pin. That'll help you make sure you don't break those brush those brush pins. And put that back in. Put your screws back in there. It'll reinstall your cover, and that's really it. There's gonna be eight, three eight millimeter screws holding the cover on. Any questions, just let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to help.